What's going on guys? Machine here with another episode of Inside PC Gaming. Jumping right into the mix this week with MMO Champion reporting that the Terrails charger is on the PTR. You can take a look at it. For those of you who do not know about this charger, this is the mount that you get for signing up for World of Warcraft for a year, earning your free copy of Diablo 3. So I got the video here, you guys can check it out. Very cool. I think the mount's pretty much one of the coolest mounts I've seen in the game personally. So go ahead and check it out. Moving forward with some uh, PTR updates. Unfortunately, the Warrior gets a nerf. Unshackled Fury, which was moved up to 44.8%, has been reduced back down to 11.2. And then a minor buff to Furious Attacks is now reducing Healing Dawn to the target by 25% up from 10%. So we're getting a nerf and a buff at the same time. Um, I think Fury Warriors are pretty much used to getting their ass kicked at this point. It's quite unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Moving forward, Blizzard has announced the new guild services that are available. There are three guild services that are going to be available. You're going to be able to do a guild master realm transfer, a guild master faction change, and a guild name change. The guild name change will cost $20. The master realm transfer costs $35, and the master faction change costs $40. This is all U.S. currency, mind you. Now, you must be the guild master to initiate these things. And then when, if you were to do a server transfer, each character in the guild is responsible for transferring over to the new server by themselves, no discount, which I find unfortunate. I think that if you're doing an entire guild change, they should do some kind of discount, even if they're only knocking $5 off. I think it would be worth it, but I'll throw the link in the description of this. They got a Q&A pretty much talking about the guild service and what it's going to include, all the prices included. So go ahead and check that out. There's a huge miss of Pandaria live developer Q&A. Definitely going to want to check this out. There's a lot, a lot of questions asked here, specific class questions asked. They go into mists of Pandaria as a whole, what's involved in it, PvP, PvE, starting areas, and whatnot. Um, one area I actually wanted to draw attention to, which I found was very interesting, was on the warrior front. Someone asked the question, will Arms Warriors do an equal amount of damage when using Bladestorm, the level 90 talent, as Fury Warriors who have double weapons over Arms? The answer, we don't want there to be obvious talent decisions. We can make Bladestorm do more damage with two weapons, or let Arms do more damage and to keep Arms versus Fury equivalent. All I'm seeing here, and literally getting a boner over, is Fury Warriors being able to Bladestorm. That's crazy. Um, when they announced all these changes to the actual class builds, I definitely got excited because that was one of my curiosities. Was Fury going to be able to do and have the utility that ARMS currently has and actually be able to mix in some of these abilities that ARMS currently has? And the fact that they have even mentioned Bladestorm and Fury in the same sentence is a very, very, very exciting. So. All I can say in this instance is I am hyped. I am really excited that as a Fury Warrior, there is hope that I will be able to play Fury in PvP and actually enjoy it and not be gimped to hell. Moving on to Diablo 3. Some great news from BlizzCon coming out. There's a video here you guys are going to want to check out. And uh, Chris Haga, he is one of the developers of Diablo 3, goes over some abilities for some of the classes and the enemy mobs in the game. There's some great abilities shown here. There's a there's a monk ability that, you know, he casts a pillar and the pillar actually explodes attacking enemies. Uh, they show some special abilities by some of the classes as well as some of the special abilities 
from the enemies that you will be fighting. And I will say this, the, the, the enemies definitely are not going to be pushovers. It looks very exciting. It's not just going to be easy mode running through these these dungeons and attacking these uh, these mobs and thinking that you're just going to mow over them because that's definitely not the case and you can see it from this video. They're putting a lot of time, effort, and thought into these fights. So the game is definitely going to be... There's also a great article in here called Modding Ain't Dead, but its future is anybody's guess. And basically, you know, Blizzard announces that they're not necessarily saying that you're not going to be able to mod Diablo 3. They just don't know how it's going to work just yet. So for all you modders out there, there's definitely hope that you will be able to continue to mod in the Diablo world, but they don't know how it's going to happen. So definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. Probably the most exciting piece of news that was released on Diablo 3 this week is a possible release date. Apparently there was a leak for a BlizzCon schedule announcement for Diablo 3 release date and as you can see here in the general announcements box that's shown Diablo 3 release date will be announced even though it wasn't but it said the dates are tentative November 24th 2011 with a backup for quarter 1 2012 being January 17th so that's pretty exciting I personally don't think it's going to come out in November because I feel if it was going to come out November 24th they would have already been announcing it I mean look at Star Wars for instance I mean we're months out and that release date is already public knowledge. So who knows, they might surprise us and say, hey, it's here, but from all the developer Q&As, it seems like they're still working on a lot of almost early concepts for the game, for the class system, the mob system, the environment system. So I don't think a November 24th release date is realistic. We'll have to stay tuned on that, but I think probably January 17th is more the realistic re release date, if that one is true, because that's going to give them a couple months to hammer all this stuff out, get the beta testing going on these new changes, and uh, see, what, see what happens from that notion. I wanted to go ahead and release another announcement here for Diablo 3 too. When it comes to the system that they have with Blizzard, as far as subscribing to WoW, for the year and getting the free copy of Diablo 3, a lot of people are concerned, what if I want the collector's edition? And they're actually throwing in a deal to where there will be the ability to get the collector's edition and they'll just discount it at that point. So for those of you who want the collector's edition, don't worry, still sign up, get your free Mountain WoW and get your free copy of Diablo 3 because you will be able to upgrade it to the collector's edition and there will be you know obviously a difference in cost at that point but the upgrade will be available moving forward to some serious modern warfare 3 news um, apparently modern warfare 3 was stolen from a shipping company and it's been pirated and is now circulating through the world wide web it has been hitting torrent sites like nuts and it, it's, it's in full swing. Now, they're not happy about this at all. They're making a lot of threats. They're trying to shut down these sites that are hosting them. They're coming after these giant torrent sites, telling them they better take the game off. And the same report says that investigators working for Activision are not only scouring these torrent sites for traces of the game, but they're now making their way across America, knocking on front doors, politely asking people to either delete their copies or face a $5,000 fine. That is huge. So for those of you out there that want to check the game out, if you're going to pirate it, which obviously I'm not going to sit here and encourage pirating, you might want to make sure you're behind a proxy because if they have your IP and they have your address, you might get a knock on your door and it's not going to be a publisher's clearinghouse with a million dollar check. they be telling you, delete the game or face a $5,000 fine. So this is uh, serious news for Modern Warfare 3. I hope it doesn't affect anything. It shouldn't. They still sell a retarded amount of copies, in my opinion. But it is interesting how it all went down and the uh, actions that Activision is taking to bring the game down and to come against people who are pirating the game. More Call of Duty 3 news. There's a new video. Link will be in the description. And this video is, I found very interesting and exciting, and it basically talks about the new weapon ranking system. Basically, there's going to be a progression system that is designed to improve specific weapon leveling unlocks. So, like camo, attachments, reticles, etc. But 
the weapon proficiencies will allow you to specialize your weapons with new attributes and basically the longer you're using a weapon and you're unlocking these attributes for these weapons you're going to be able to become more accurate with the weapon you're going to be able to control how the weapon kicks back it, it, i mean it's awesome it, it really rewards the players that are sticking you know with a gun of choice and the better you get with the gun and the more time you play with that gun the better the gun is going to react to you and it's going to be you know basically an all-around better weapon at that point so you know when you first pick up the m16 it might be all over the place whatever but you know you play with that m16 for quite some time you're going to be able to be extremely more accurate be able to shoot faster very very cool they've also actually taken and broken down the different classes in the game and how they'll have quicker you know some will have quicker melee abilities some will be able to resist more blast damage some will have a longer runtime, you know, depending on what base class you are. So you'll definitely want to check out this video. I'm personally getting very excited for Modern Warfare 3. Last but not least, IGN releases a Battlefield 3 video review. They basically review the PC version of the game. I'll save you some time. If you want to check out the video, go ahead. But basically, they're saying that the multiplayer game, very cool. Um, the single player campaign seems to be buggy. There's definitely some patches that need to occur. The game was definitely released with some bugs, but the overall realism of the game is supposedly off the chain. Bullets whizzing by your head. Very exciting. Um, there's sunlight that can blind you. There's a lot of visual effects that make you feel like you're in the battle. Um, that being said, I have quite a few friends that went out and bought the game and are disappointed. They feel like it's exactly like the last Battlefield. Included a lot of the same bugs that the last Battlefield had and basically are waiting for Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield in my life, I'm not buying Battlefield. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go waste the money. After talking to my friends and hearing them out, watching the gameplay, looking at some of these reviews, it didn't sell me, and I'm just not going to spend the 50 bucks on the damn game. Modern Warfare 3, on the other hand, has my vote. We're two weeks off from release. Very exciting shit. I'm definitely excited to play this game, and I hope that we'll, uh, you know, be playing together. So, that's pretty much it for Inside PC Gaming this week. Had a lot of news, a lot of breaking things going down in all games, release dates announced. Just to let you know, there was no Star Wars in this video. That's because I've decided to take Star Wars The Republic and make its own news video because there's always too much information to be able to cover in 15 minutes to be able to have Star Wars and the rest of the games that I want to cover in one video. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Machine out.